rather than dwell on the negatives, I'm going to start with the positive. I corn after that first, I, I, I cough, sorry. Uh, after that first inning, I think he was a little nervous with the home crowd pitching for in Philly for the first time, and uh, I thought he did an outstanding job after that first inning. Uh, you know, he basically got, had a quality start tonight. He really turned himself around and uh, pitched very well through the sixth inning. Um, we fought back. You know, that's a, that we were kind of listless the whole game, mainly because Cologne really knows how to how to pitch, obviously. And that's actually that's the first time I've really seen him use more than a fastball. You know, he generally just cuts you up with the fastball, but he used all his pitches, showed better velocity than I've seen from him. You know, he's a professional, he's a veteran pitcher. He really uh, held us down, but we fought back, made a game out of it. And that's a positive. Howie had a couple hits, Rub had a couple, Herrera had a couple. Uh, that being said, I'm I'm not real thrilled about losing. We, you never want to lose games. You know, the, the Mets have had our number all year. We want to beat them. The best thing to do, once again, put it behind us and beat them tomorrow. We got to salvage a game out of this. So um, <coughs> that's about it. Yes, there was a lot of strikeouts last two nights. Is that one of their pitching or your hitters? Well, I don't know. You know, I, I, I would like our hitters to have a better two-strike two approach. But, you know, we've been hitting the ball well. We've been scoring runs. I think throughout baseball, there's a lot more strikeouts from hitters. Um, but I was just happy that we made a game out of it late, late in the game. And uh, uh, it was nice to see, you know. Uh, Cologne's really a top-notch pitcher. The guy, that when, he's, when he's on, he's tough to hit. What did you see if you're pitching the first inning? They, I think the Mets only had really one really hard hit ball, but his location was off. And 40 pitches, you've had to be thinking he's, he might well, get three, four innings. For sure, I was getting nervous because we've had a, a strapped bullpen. You know, we, we can't keep going to the bullpen every night uh, as much as we do. But one ball was hit hard, the ball by uh, Kadire. You know, he, obviously, he wasn't himself. He wasn't the guy in that first inning that, I, that we saw in Miami. But after that first inning, he's the same guy we saw. He really broke out a good curveball, good slider. He was hitting spots, and it was nice to see him battle back like that. You think if your center fielder catches that thing, he settles down? Could be. You know, those things make a difference in a game. It could make a difference. But uh, uh, as I, you know, we talked about the fact that the, the only ball hit hard that inning was the Kadire ball, and the, the you know the. The fly ball to center field was well hit, but it should have been caught. And uh, uh, you know, it's tough to tough to say. Never, but I'm just I'm happy he pitched. He came out of it. That's more important than a, than anything else. The fact that as poorly as he located his pitches in the first inning, he just turned it right around and, and located extremely well the rest of the way. Did you guys talk to him between innings? Did Mac talk to him? Mac always talks to him. You know, um, I don't know what he said to him, but. Uh, He's a pretty solid guy. He doesn't really need uh, uh, reinforcement in that way. I mean, he's he's a lot. He's got a lot of confidence.